Welcome to our introduction to multi-rotor stabilization for our QSC uh, multi-rotor build. Quick, simple, and cheap. This is part one of the electronics overview and we're going to be looking at the electronics components that we put into a vehicle like this. This is a tricopter and it's running uh, the basic electronics. Now when these first started out they, uh, they had four gyros and one for each of the uh, the arms and one for a yaw servo and these worked uh, these worked pretty good um, however uh, it seemed like we could probably make them a little bit better for the gyros we used uh, the gyros out of a Wii Motion Plus and uh, those seem to work pretty well and they're cheap add to those for a little bit more stabilization the accelerometers out of a nunchuck Add to that the uh, Pro Mini Arduino for the brains of the uh, of the uh, system, and then of course that's tied into your normal RC receiver. When you couple all these together uh, and put them into a uh, platform, uh, as shown on the picture here, uh, you have a very very stable uh, multi rotor design. Uh, this one happens to have a GoPro uh, camera and it weighs probably in almost about uh, four and a half five pounds. And it's hovering at about 75 feet over the runway waiting for some planes to take off so we can do a little bit of air-to-air -air photography. Before we get into the nuts and bolts of this uh, stabilization system I just want to go and really highlight that this work is based on Alex and Paris's cold set for the Arduino, the multi wee copter discussion on rcgroups.com, and from the various other forums, build threads, and blogs, and from an unbelievable number of very talented contributors to these uh, forums. This is simply our interpretation and compilation of that massive amount of a material that seems to work pretty good for us. The beauty of this system is that it is relatively simple and it can be very cheap and depending on your soldering skills can be pretty quick to assemble as well. In this hybrid video of video and pictures I'm only trying to give you a quick overview of what's involved in putting together the electronic component of a tri or even a quad or a hex or, or what have you. There is a more detailed document on the allthingscrash.com site that compiles a good deal of the videos and how-tos in one place for you. I hope you enjoy building these multi-rotor designs as much as I do. And now let's take a look at what's involved in building the stabilization system. As you can see from the picture that's been up on the screen, the amount of bits and pieces that comprise the stabilization system really isn't that great. It's a Wii Motion Plus, it's a nunchuck for the accelerometers, uh, the Wii Motion Plus has the gyros, uh, you've got five servo leads, uh, you've got four leads that go to uh, three of the ESCs, for the motors on the arms and one that goes to the tilt rotor. You see in the little plastic bag off to the side that's where the uh, Arduino Pro Mini is which is the, the little processor if you will. Uh, in the front you see a six pin uh, uh, header pin that we're going to be using to, uh, to program uh, the Arduino in a uh, later segment and of course a uh, five or more channel RC uh, receiver. You can actually get away with a four channel but a five channel seems to uh, to work the best and allows you to turn on and off the uh, the stabilization feature. Okay let's move forward and uh, I like to work with the uh, the Wii Motion Plus first but both for the Wii Motion Plus and the nunchuck you need to file down a flathead screwdriver um, into like a semi V shape to fit those funny triangular screws that hold the Wii Motion Plus and the uh, the Wii nunchuck together. So uh, it works pretty good. You want to have it just so it fits into the screws to allow you to go and remove the screws. Um, 
pull the uh, the Wii Motion Plus apart. It helps to go and uh, and pull the little cap off of the bottom and uh, just separate the case. And once you separate the uh, case, uh, here's the board that we're uh, we're really interested in. And this contains the three gyros that. Uh, uh, basically uh, is the heart of the system. So once we pull the board out of the case uh, and cut off the connector that's uh, attached to these wires, um, this allows us to go and just extend these wires without doing any any nasty uh, soldering or pulling the wires out of the uh, out of the circuit board. So once we're at that point, um, we need to go and snip off a couple uh, wires in a traditional or an original uh, Wii Motion Plus. I'm actually snipping out uh, the two middle wires. In this case, it's orange and yellow, and uh, uh, because we don't use those, what we're going to be left with is a brown wire that goes to pin A12 on the uh, the Arduino, uh, a red wire that goes to pin A5, a green wire that goes to pin A4, and a blue, or you could leave the black wire, either one, that goes to ground. So when we get it cut, we've got basically four wires left that directly uh, will wire into the, uh, the Arduino Pro Mini. One thing that I do personally do, though, is I cut the ribbon cable that uh, goes out to the connector that normally connects the uh, uh, Wii Motion Plus to the nunchuck. I separate those wires into individual pieces and it makes it easier to pull them out uh, when you try to remove them with your uh, soldering iron. Let's go and take apart now the uh, the nunchuck. You take the screws out just like we did with the Wii Motion Plus. Uh, the nunchuck circuit board comes comes right out. Uh, give it a yank. Uh, the cable comes out. The nunchuck comes out, and uh, this is pretty much all we want. Pretty straightforward. Pretty easy. Um, first thing we're going to do is snip off the cable as uh, close as we can to uh, to the molded section. And uh, if that's all you want to do, uh, you're you're in pretty good shape. Uh, you do need to go and obviously snip off the two little uh, the two little uh, button switches, but uh, pretty much it's usable like that if you uh, you just take off the uh, the little white cap. One of the things I like to do is take off the top hat uh, switch assembly from the board. It makes for a lighter board and I think a, a cleaner board. So basically, all you're going to do is solder suck. Uh, the uh, the eight or uh, eight or nine connections that hold this switch assembly to the board, and just with a solder sucker, uh, solder iron, uh, you know, heat them up. Uh, there's no electronics really uh, underneath that uh, to to speak of. Um, once you solder suck them, give it a little tug, and it comes right out. So, so far we've gone and we've prepared the Wii Motion Plus, which again is your, your gyros. We've prepared the, uh, the nunchuck uh, for the accelerometers, and that gives you the stabilization mode. So, acro mode uh, is taken care of by the Wii Motion Plus. Stabilization mode is taken care of by the uh, accelerometers. So now we're going to go and prepare the uh, the Pro Mini, uh, and uh, basically the only preparation with this is we need to go and put in a six-pin header from the top of the board, and uh, you just solder it in real quick. Um, and what this does is gives you the connector that you will be plugging in your programming interface to. Now, moving on, we come to probably the biggest piece of this, which is uh, doing all the wiring that uh, connects the five channels to your receiver and uh, connects the, uh, the three motors and the servo uh, to the Wii Motion Plus. And the first thing we need to do is basically for the five channels going to the receiver, 
tie together all of your red wires, which is uh, your your uh, your plus. Uh, tie together all your black wires, uh, which is your grounds. And for this uh, piece, just leave your signal wires there. Do that for both the four wires going to your ESCs and servo. Make one bundle and make another bundle for the uh, five uh, channels going to your receiver. And uh, you wind up with something that looks, uh, you know, hopefully like this. I made the receiver wires just a little bit longer. It uh, made it a little bit easier. Now you're going to be going and uh, going and tying in all those signal wires uh, from uh, both the receiver and the ones going out to your ESCs and your servo into this little board and it's really not that bad. Um, you just do a, uh, a wire at a time, strip your wires, tin your wires, and based on the uh, wiring diagram shown uh, shown here, um, that's all you uh, all you pretty much uh, all you pretty much need to do. One thing that I really did want to outline is you want to take the nine plus wires and the nine uh, ground wires and tie them into two single wires, a red wire and a black wire. Those two wires go into the raw and the ground uh, holes on the uh, on the uh, Pro Mini. Now this is the wiring diagram for the the whole system, if you will, um, with the exception of the uh, the nunchuck. So this is the wiring that we're we're going to be uh, be doing. We're going to be wiring the uh, five channels into the hole shown. We're going to be wiring uh, plus and minus as a it said, and uh, we're going to be wiring in the uh, the Wii Motion Plus. And this is what it looks like uh, wired uh, wired this far. And pretty much these are uh, these are all the wires uh, that we need, with the exception of the Wii Motion Plus going into the Pro Mini board. And again, here's another another shot at it. And as you can see, the wiring itself is is bigger than the components at this point and pretty much is uh, throughout the build. Uh, now we're going to go and connect what we had done uh, done before the Wii Motion Plus to the Pro Mini and in order to do that we need to go and extend these wires just a little bit just to make them a little bit more workable with. So just tack on uh, a brown, a red, uh, a white and a uh, and a blue wire because that's what I had floating around and uh, heat shrink them and now you get some reasonable size extensions and I like to leave probably about uh, three or four inches and that seems to give enough uh, enough uh, wire to work with and uh, based on the previous diagram when you uh, connect the four wires it it looks like this and at this point in time you really have a stabilization system that that can be flown, but we want to go and add on the uh, the nunchuck as well. And in a previous uh, uh, previous picture, we had shown that we actually did take off this uh, top hat assembly, and that's what it looks like uh, without it. A little bit cleaner, a little bit a uh, little bit lighter. And what we're going to do is prep these uh, these wires to go and tie into the Wii Motion Plus. Now prepping the nunchuck is real easy. Basically, uh, we need to clip off the white wire because we don't uh, we don't use it. You're left with the uh, the red, yellow, green, and black wire. Uh, the only wire that needs to be specially treated is the red wire. You need to put a little hook in it, if you will, and two areas that you can solder. And that's shown in this diagram where you're connecting the power to another pin. Uh, on the uh, on the Wii Motion Plus that basically lets it know that the nunchuck is there and exists. And when you're done with that wiring, you're left with uh, the completed system. Uh, the cable to the right and the board is used to go and uh, load the software and program and configure the system. And we'll go over that in the, uh, the next section. Uh, but this is a flyable version and uh, it, it has uh, flown as you see it. 
Uh, for more detailed uh, reference documentation, for the links that helped us go and put this together, uh, for more pointers, please visit the multi-rotors section and the downloads area on allthingscrash.com. And thank you very much, and I hope this helps you uh, as it has me just in putting it together. Thank you.